Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex and I'm back with another video and today we are going to be talking about 5 winning product research strategies for Shopify dropshipping in 2019. Okay guys, so the 5 insane product research strategies for dropshipping in 2018. Let's just jump into this one. So quickly in this video I'm going to be going over number one the social media spying strategy, number two the bookmarking store strategy, three blasting yourself with ad strategy, four softwares and programs and five the AliExpress dropship center. And now special bonus number six and this is only for the people that stay to the end of this video and that is a list of 10 profitable websites that you can start stealing products off from today and you can see I have the list already here so if you stick to the end I'll link I'll send you exactly where you need to be to get this list of 10 profitable the websites that you can start stealing winning products off of today so let's just jump into it right away and as you can see it is nearly midnight on Black Friday and we have two more videos to record so let's just jump into it so five insane product research strategies for dropshipping in 2019 so the first one let's just Put this in black. The first one is the spying on stores through social media posts. Now, what do I mean by this? So, as you know, stores are very active on social media. That's how they drive traffic. You know, some stores are mostly running Facebook ads. Some people are just doing Instagram ads, inf Instagram influencers. Now, what you can do is all you do is you follow the social media pages of these big or related Instagram pages. So, for example, let's just go to Instagram. So all you need to do is you need to follow stores or just spy on stores as I guess and look at what they're posting on social media. So typically a store will post on social media what has been selling really well for them. For example, let's go to a store and I'm just going to go to a random one right now. This is what I normally use for examples. Uh, so stores normally post what's been selling really well for them. For example, this store has just posted this um, gift gift box and they've it's already got 6,000 views in five days considering they have less than 9,000 followers 6,000 views is pretty impressive so what you do is you just go to a bunch of these stores whether that be on Instagram or Facebook I'm primarily primarily on Instagram that's why I'm showing you an example of this and just look at what they've been posting recently and from these posts you'll be able to identify what products have been selling really well. So be, for example, we can see they posted this witch ring, which is really similar to you know the Halloween theme coming up, and you can see it got 320 likes. This one only got 178 likes. So we can assume that this witch ring has been selling more for them than this uh, planet bracelet. And yeah, so just, just by looking at the social media, we've immediately identified this item has been selling more than this item. We can see over here, this got 504 likes, which means these, this item has been outselling both of these items. This one, 538 likes. And yeah, just like that, we can just go through the whole feed and we can see loads of different winning products. You see 1,500 likes over here, which means they were seriously making money with this Groot planter pot back there. So the first strategy, all it is, is you're following loads of pages on social media, loads of stores on social media, and there are tons of them. So another one would be... Um, uh, what can I do another one? Sunflower Jewels. This is another one I look at often. So these guys have 127,000 followers. So obviously they're selling way, way more. And you can see they're posting mostly jewelry. So this one only got 1,000 likes. This one got 7,000 likes. So we can immediately identify that this product has been selling way, way more than these these three over here. Uh, let's see what else has good engagement. This has 3,000 likes, which is quite good. And just like that, we can see 9,000 likes, which is really good. So just like that, we can, we've can we immediately found a winning product. And this is one I've shared before. This is the 100 Languages I Love You necklace. And that's got 10,000 likes. So just by doing this, following tons of stores, and you can follow stores by uh, whenever you see them shouting out or doing a promotion, you can just follow their page. And always check through their feed every single day, day to see what they've been posting. And then you eventually find winning products, because that's obviously what they'll be posting. Another thing you can do is also go to their tag section, and when you click this tag button right here, and on your phone it's the same, the same tag button. You can see what posts they've been tagged in recently. For example, they've be they've posted a shout out on a page called 
calligraphy video. I'm pretty sure they have 4 million followers. And it's already got 10,000 likes in 4 hours, which is really, really good. And we can see what the ad is for. So we can see this is for this universe necklace. And immediately we found a really good product. That's 171 comments as well, which is super good for Instagram. And just like that, look from the first post on the tagged page, we can see a winning product. This this uh, universe necklace. We scroll down a bit more, see if there's any more shout outs have been tagged in. This one, not many likes. Uh, if we keep on scrolling, 28,000 likes, and this is um, a forever rose, one of those gold roses. 28,000 likes is insane. 320 comments, that's another potential winning product. So, just like that, if you scroll through their feed, scroll through their tag, loads of stores every single day, you'll be immediately able to identify. Dozens and dozens of these products that might be super hot and trendy right now that you can uh, hop onto and start selling. Uh, so let's move on to the next method. So that was uh, spying on the stores through social media posts. Number two is bookmarking top related stores. So as you can see here, um, uh, where is it? Where is it? Stores of spying. So I have my own folder for stores that I like to spy on. Uh, but what I would do is whenever I come across a store that's doing really well, for example, this one, Sunflower Jewels, I just go visit their website. I check check it just to see if it's all clean, if it's looking good. And then all I do is I bookmark it. So I click favorites and I add it to wherever I wanted to add it to. So just like that, bookmarking top related stores. And let's say if you're selling in the camping niche, you just Follow those camping pages, or and you you tend to see ads related to camping if you're in the camping niche, and you just bookmark the pages of the top related stores in your niche, or if you're going general, then I guess you uh, bookmark general stores, and just to see their winning items, all you need to type in is just go here, type in Shopify best selling. When you type in Shopify best selling, you should get a link to one of these articles. Uh, this one disable sort by uh, best selling function, and you want to copy this collection slash all slash best selling. What you want to do is you want to copy this and paste it into the end of the website, so sunflower jewels, and then add whatever this thing is to the end. Let's just close that. Uh, click enter, and immediately what it will do is it will show you the best selling items on the store. For example, we've been able to immediately tell that the personalized calendar keychain has been selling way way more than anything else and yeah so we've immediately been able to identify the top selling products i'll bookmark this check up on it every single day see if there's anything new that's popping up here if let's say this item was overtaken by this item then we know hey this princess ring is selling really really good we have to start selling that and i do this for tons of stores so like the other one uh i believe it was underwater jewels we just keep that uh, ending bit the same and when we do this we can see their top selling items and we just bookmark it then we can see hey this this moon likeness has been selling really well this cable chompers are selling really well and we can go through this every single day to see if there's any changes in the top so let's say for example one day this dinosaur romba has, has all the way come to the fourth uh, the fourth position over here then we can say hey this thing has sold really good overnight we better start selling it and yeah so you just book my lo loads of stores like that and you'll come and you just check up on it every single day like the social media spying thing and you'll come across some very profitable items now number three is turbo ad boost so I'm trying not to go through this very quickly but what turbo ad boost is it's basically a chrome extension and I don't I might have it now uh, but you just type in turbo ad boost and this is only for Facebook. Oh, uh, boost. Facebook ad boost, maybe. Um, ooh, maybe it's because I already have it installed. But anyway, it's called uh, what this Chrome extension does, and I'm sure you guys can find it easily. It's called something like Facebook or Turbo Ad Boost. What it does is it's a Chrome extension, and as soon as you log into Facebook, I don't, I'm not sure if this works for Instagram, I haven't tried it. But for Facebook, as soon as you log in, it will blast you with ads after ads after ads. You won't see any content, you'll just see ads and ads. And what I do is it'll immediately help you see, hey, this thing has, what, 10,000 likes, that's selling quite well. This thing has 10 million views, boy, that's doing crazy good. So just like that, when you have turbo ad boost on, you can immediately identify tons and tons of ads. You can go through your feed really quick without, you know, having the serious content uh, that you might get distracted by even which I know sometimes I used to do with Instagram, but when you have 
ads and ads and ads, you just keep on scrolling and you keep on doing your own thing without getting interacted. So this Chrome extension is really, really good. Uh, you should get it. It's free and Turbo Ad Boost, something like that. Uh, so yeah, next one, oh, let's do this, is a paid product research tool. So what I mean by this is when you're actually paying for a software or program, uh, to find you pr winning products every single day. So the main one that I used to use was something called Pexter, and I used to use. I used to promote on my channel. Actually, I, I had a few affiliate links up somewhere, with, but I don't use it anymore, so that's why I don't promote it. But when I did use it, it was quite good. Uh, the only reason I use, I don't use it now, is because I have all the other methods. It's kind of like a waste of money to use this, and it's kind of also free. You just need to look at. Uh, the listings over here and you can see how many orders an item has got for example you just refresh this page every single day and it will show you the latest uh, most winning items you scroll up the safety alarm keychains that done quite well dinosaur skull fossil and just i just go through this every single day this firing cut uh cap gun which is some interesting things so just if you scroll through this every single day you'll come across some really interesting products that you can start selling. So that's a paid product research tool. There's another one called Dropship Spy. I, d I won't uh, promote any of these directly because um, I'm not actually using any of these because I have the other four strategies but you can you can uh, find winning products with these uh, programs or softwares and I'm sure they've done really good. I've used Dropship Spy before. I've paid for it I'm pretty sure. Um, it was okay. It was better than Pexa because it showed you more uh, in-depth details, um, but yeah, yeah there's, there's quite a, a ton of them out there that you can find drop supplies, packs are just two of them, um, but I honestly wouldn't really recommend investing in a product research tool if you're just starting out, and the reason I say that is because there's so many other strategies or ways that you can find winning products that it's kind of like a waste of money if you're on a tight budget just to invest it in this product research tool when you should be doing the work yourself. But if you are really at that top level, then sure, you can get one. Um, that's fine. So, step number five, which is the final one, is the AliExpress Drop Ship Center. So, I might blur out some stuff here. Or I'll log into a different account. Just give me a sec. Okay, so I just changed that. And uh, let's go into the second. So I just had to log out of my Alpha account just because I didn't want to show some stuff. So what you want to do is you want to go to AliExpress uh, website, then you go to My AliExpress over here, and you click on My AliExpress. Boom, boom, boom. Let's wait for it to load. Make sure I take the VPN. Oh, it's never good. If AliExpress loads, I can show you guys some. Cool, cool stuff. So, all you want to do is you want to go to dropshipping here, dropshipping center, and you scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Now, over here, you find a bunch of related products to what you've been selling or what has been selling really well for other dropshippers. So, as you can see over here, and I've seen this ad recently, this thermal phone case has 3,870 orders. And what um, dropshipping center does is it collects up all the best dropshipping items. So AliExpress obviously know who's dropshipping and who's not dropshipping. They've just collected uh, all the info on who's dropshipping. For example, we've seen this uh, keychain, the custom calendar keychain, as uh, be the top seller on the Sunflower Jewel Store. We can see over here it has 21,000 orders, which is insane. And just like that, so we've got uh, that same winning product, which has been validated already on another top store. Um, we can start selling as well. We can see over here the purge mask, which has done quite good before. We can see this cable trumper, the golden necklace, uh, the golden rose, which has been doing really good. It'll probably do really good for the next two, three months now because of Christmas, Christmas gifts, uh, Valentine's Day. And just by going through the dropshipping center, you immediately find tons of related products, not only to what you've been selling, but to what other people have been selling as well. And one of the cool things I like about it is, so initially it looks all general and you can't find anything specific, let's say for the niche. But what you can do is you can select product category and you can get really in-depth to what you're looking for. So let's say for the home and decor category, and let's say in the pets, um, maybe not pets, 
a little like jewelry uh, like that other sort of so let's do necklaces necklaces are obviously something really big and let's say if you're a jewelry store you can easily find winning new necklace uh, types designs over here so we can see this heart one we can see this there's another one right here just like that we can break it up into different categories whatever niche we're in or for general we can go all categories whichever one you prefer and we can make some money selling these profitable products so let's say in the clothing niche we can look for jackets these are all things that have been drop shipped so some stuff on aliexpress people actually go there and buy because people do know about aliexpress but most of this stuff is being drop shipped so they just uh, lay it out for you so this is actually something really quite cool i haven't seen this before uh, this is like a Simpsons design. Can someone else just do it? Which is interesting. I'm gonna add that actually. I can't log into Obla. I'm just gonna leave that open actually. So just like that, I found a winning product. I'm gonna go test it. Uh, I I wouldn't run in. I try not to run into any copyright issues with the Nike logo or anything, but I think that's fine. Uh, but yeah. With that being said, that is the five insane product research methods. So quickly to review. Uh, number one was spying on the stores, which is obviously following a, t a bunch of stores on social media, following their Instagram and Facebook, and check what they're posting every single day, check what they're tagged in every single day. Number two is bookmarking stores, so just like I've done on stores to spy on, and I have a ton over there. You just go to the top stores in your niche or in a similar field to you, you sort by their top selling items, and that is just by adding, just type in Shopify best selling, uh, selling. And over here you can see the code that you add to the end of, of the normal URL. And let's close that. Uh, free is the Turbo Ad Boost, which is when you get that Chrome extension and it will blast you with ads after ads after ads so that you can quickly go through what's working and what's not. Four trade product tool, Pexta, Dropship Spy, which I hope you guys understood that. I went through that one quickly. Five is the AliExpress Dropshipping Center, which is something that's come out really, really soon. I mean recently and it's it's actually really unbelievably good I mean there's tons of stuff to it there's a trusted suppliers rank where you can see the top suppliers in uh, specific niches and categories product analysis which is where you can type in the URL of a specific product and you can see how many sales it's doing every single day and other cool stuff so let's do it with that old example we just type it into product analysis over here we can see um, we can see it's sold 197 units the other day. Only it's gone down to 30, 40 now, so it's dipped a bit. But we can get loads of in-depth uh, depth uh, details about stuff that we didn't get before, which is super handy and super useful. So, guys, I hope you did enjoy that one, and I'm gonna jump into real person mode to, to wrap this video off. But thanks for watching. Okay guys, I hope you did enjoy that video and these are the 5 main strategies that I use when it comes to looking for new winning products. Of course the AliExpress uh, dropshipping center is a new uh, thing that has come out but I've been finding it really useful lately and I do recommend you guys check that one out. But with that being said, I hope you did enjoy that video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below or click the like button. and. If you want more amazing content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel because we'll be posting really often amazing dropshipping content. And make sure to hit the coolest notification bell icon so that you're notified every time I drop another awesome video. Also, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Or you can hit me up on Instagram at alexphilip underscore one and I will reply to you there as soon as I can as well. Uh, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed and peace. <laughs>